Unwritten Rules the Medical. Welcome to Australian Mining for New Starters and in today's video I just wanted to talk to you about the medical and what goes on with that and some of the unwritten rules that go with it. So if you're applying for a mining job, so we've used underground as an example, all the job ads ask for a medical. So they'll get you to do a medical if they decide that they want you. Now the first thing is that Getting told you're going to do a medical is not a guarantee that you're going to do get the job. But as in WA and most um, states around the country, the employers are responsible for all the medicals, so they have to pay for them. So nobody's going to spend $800 to $1,000 on a medical for somebody that they're not really seriously thinking about hiring. Now, having said that, if you do, for some reason, come up short in the medical, that gives them an out. If something else goes wrong, like like they no longer need you on site for whatever reason because the mine's shutting down randomly or they've decided to scale back production or they found somebody else with experience and they don't want you anymore often they can use something in the medical as an excuse just to say you didn't pass the medical and then it goes from there they don't really give you a good explanation of this and the reason that they don't have to give you a good explanation of this is because they pay for it so the medical is theirs it's not yours so they don't have to disclose it to you so a lot of people get told that they are overweight uh, over 120 kilos and the seat won't fit them now that is just a hundred percent cop out because if that was a real factor in the medical then all the HR departments the first thing they'd ask you straight out of the mouth is are you over 120 kilos now the medicals are really about whether you're fit to do the job or not now the the seats in the trucks and the boggers and all that sort of stuff underground you can get them to rate it up to 180 kilos so whenever if you've been told that you know you've done a medical and you've gone for that and they've said that you know the seats are 100 and over 120 kilos and they've copped you out well you failed the medical but probably not because of that because probably because they've deemed you as unfit or some other thing so if you're six foot four and 130 kilos you're probably going to pass the medical if you if you're five foot two and 120 kilos you're probably not going to pass the medical it's as simple as that um, the other thing with medicals that you need to watch out for is the doctors that do them they're not exactly um, the reason that their company doctors on doing stuff like that is they can make a lot of money in a short period of time as long as they can file people through now where people have problems with the medical is um, when they treat the doctor like their own personal physician and what ends up happening is that you waste a lot of the doctor's time and the more time that you spend in with the doctor the less money they're making on that day because they're supposed to see more people so if you treat your doctor and you end up having a 15 or 20 minute consultation with him chances are or her chances are that you're not going to pass the medical they want you in and out in five minutes as long I my recommendation is that they're treating you like a bit of cattle to act like one and you know if they, you know, if you don't presume uh, if you don't perceive that there's anything wrong with you then that's what you need to tell the doctor and it's their uh, it's their job to assess whether you you know you're right or you're wrong or whether there is anything and most of them want you in and out as quickly as possible the other thing that they get you to do with medicals they might get you to do a basic medical which is the one that I'm just talking about some of the owner operators get you to go and do a big fa fancy one that costs like fifteen hundred dollars that's got a huge long name to it now what this does is this takes a base level of where you are fitness wise and the whole idea behind that is that if they when they take you on they've got a baseline of how fit and how damaged you are so if they do hurt you they can refer back to that as the baseline and pay you any compensation that's the difference so again that's then there to protect them as a company and so you just need to go along and do it and be treated like a bit of cattle and act like a bit of cattle because that's what's going on now um, medicals uh, you know people have to do lots of them and people get sick of them just re remember that they're probably going to take between two and three hours to get through and the longer that you spend with a doctor the worse it's going to be so you know try and keep it short and sweet and get in and out as quickly as you can that's the best way and the best advice around it if you spend 
spend too long in there and if you make them um, write a whole heap of notes, chances are that they're going to fail you. The other thing that sometimes comes up is if you've got any pre-existing um, conditions, all the employers want to know is that they're managed. So sometimes if you're being treated for depression or you've been on um, the drugs for being treated for depression for a long period of time, they might just want a note from your doctor saying it's all being treated and it's all good. That's generally what they want. They just want to know that everything is under control and you're being treated for it all. Um, they don't want to know any anything else. Where you're going to have issues is if you tell them that you've got a problem that you're not being treated for. That's going to be an issue. Um, yeah, and just bringing up other random stuff that you're asking questions about or, again, treating the doctor like your local GP, that's going to cause issues. So... That's how and what I would do with a medical and some of the, um, the unwritten rules of medicals. Uh, the other big thing is workers' compensation. They can't check on workers' compensation, so it's up to you whether you disclose or not. I'll leave ev everybody to read into that what they want to read into that. Um, but yeah, the big thing is that the companies pay for the medicals, so it's theirs. So whatever they tell you, whichever excuse they give you, it doesn't necessarily have to be the truth about what they found in the medical. Sometimes they medical's really good. Um, a few years ago now, probably four years ago, we had a guy, um, Simon, who got a job in um, New South Wales. He, when he did his medical with Newcrest, they found um, some stuff on his lungs and he actually got diagnosed with lung cancer through the medical. And so that's one of the things that, you know, they will disclose and they'll let you know and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, that's one of the few times that um, I've come across that um, the medical's been a really good thing and it's actually saved some somebody's life so just be aware that they will you know go into it with a fair bit of detail it's pretty physical with the jumping up and down and planking and all that sort of stuff they get you to do for a little while that's why I tell everybody that you've got to be walk walking fit you don't have to be superhuman but you've got to be walking fit um, as long as you're walking fit and not carrying too much excess weight you'll be fine in your medical so I hope you found that information helpful and there are a few of the unwritten rules so if you could um, like the channel and like the video and share the information around that would be wonderful thanks